Okay, this is a leaking service valve, and I put some soap solution in there so that you could see the leaks. There are two leaks in this valve, and I'm going to just let you kind of look at this thing and see if you can find the leaks. There's one on top and one on the bottom. Uh, these service valves are known for these kind of leaks. They're not real obvious. Sometimes there's oil, sometimes there's not. This one had no oil on it at all. Uh, and it's still leaked. Virtually all these things seem to leak at one time or other. And uh, this one, of course, is no exception. Uh, you need some patience with these things. Uh, you can use an electronic leak detector, but if there's any uh, water in your, uh, if you've been using any uh, leak solution, if there's any water in the leak solution, uh, seems like uh, chlorine sets a leak detector off. Uh, I still see use soap bubbles in these things, um, and I just watch them pretty close. If I don't find it the first time, I try it the second time because it's probably there someplace, especially if there's oil. Uh, one of the things I usually tell people about service valves, uh, the first thing you do is look for oil, then you check the mechanical fittings, that is usually the service valves. And if it's not the service valves, then go back to the service valves. I don't know, sounds kind of silly, but uh, it's almost certainly going to be the service valve. I will be showing how this valve is repaired a little later uh, without replacing the valve.